John, thanks for joining us for another edition of the CEO's blog. It's a huge edition. Um, it's awards night season, and the, the first one to kick off is the Breeders this Saturday night at Tapcourt Park, Menangle. Yeah, Breeders Association meeting, uh, New South Wales Breeders. Uh, guest uh, MC for the night is Mark McNamara, so it'll be a great night. Um, all members, uh, if they've RSP, RSVP'd, of course, are in for free, but um, a good night, some great prizes to be won, and some very worthy recipients of the awards. Okay, well, one race caller to another. Johnny Tapp is the MC at the Trotters Awards night on October 13. And and once again, and it's good to see the Trotters Association are um, working very diligently to provide opportunities for trotters and to in, in, enhance what, what's going on. And um, I can say on that night there will be an announcement uh, by the Trotters Association in association with the principal club at Menangle Park and also Harness Racing New South Wales on some funding. So uh, if you want to know first up of what's happening with the trotters, you should attend the awards night and just contact uh, Troy or Flora or Blake and uh, they'll certainly accommodate you with ticketing. And, and I think that's at Penrith, that uh, that particular function. Yeah, it is. It sure is. And I, I believe there's a really good band there to play that night as well. Um, OK, well, the Harness Racing New South Wales awards night is not uh, long after that. That It's on October 28th. At 28th, and um, once again, I urge everybody to come along. It's the night that we celebrate our achievements um, in the sport. It's the night that we compliment those who uh, reached to the top, won the premierships. There's quite a few awards there that are unknown. Um, one of the really interesting ones, of course, are the two hobbyist awards. So it's not only about those big stables that win the premierships. There's two awards there, one for a trainer, one for, for a driver, and um, they won't be revealed till to the night. So um, hopefully everyone will come along and enjoy what's a, always a good night. OK, well, let's keep talking about that awards night and a, and a special award named after uh, one of our greatest drivers here in New South Wales, Kevin Newman. Yeah, the Kevin Newman uh, Award for Driving Excellence. Uh, uh, this is uh, very much supported by Tab Corp and there's some fantastic, uh, well, of course, there'll be a fa fantastic um, trophy for the recipient of that award, but there's some great prizes uh, which will be revealed. Uh, you will do that, Amanda, in the next couple of days where Two, two parts. We, we ask people, enthusiasts, to nominate who is the best drivers for the, for the year, and there'll be probably about five of those, and then it will go out for a public vote. So um, a really good award, and an award that recognises the greatest driver. Um, his records won't be erased from, from the record books because they won't be eclipsed. So uh, whilst Brian Hancock was the best at Harold Park, Kevin Newman was just that little bit better. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> Bye, <doll. laughs> All right, no problem. OK, so let's talk about the Chairman of Stewards. Oh, well, Graham Locke. Mr As Locke. As it is, Mr Locke. Um, Yugara on, on Sunday is his last day as chairman of stewards, of course, and Grant Adams then steps into the role at the end of the meeting. So uh, Graham has served Harness Racing New South Wales very well. He won't be disappearing um, like immediately. Like we're not going to leave him at Yugara. We'll bring him back <laughs> to sit in, get a little bit more out of him. But um, he, he has served us uh, on a serious note very, very well. Um, we've, we've made significant movement here in New South Wales. We've always had a very strong um, integrity um, focus. Um, but um, yeah, he's done a great job. Um, Grant and his team um, will continue that uh, that on and, and we'll go even further forward in New South Wales. Yeah, Graham Locke has been very strong in, in the whip movement here in New South Wales. Whip movement, but I, I see it more though uh, with his consultation uh, with the participants and, and with the board of Harness Racing New South Wales, finding that medium that we all can be comfortable with, that um, we protect the integrity of the sport and of course we, um, we keep people um, on a, on a very um, stringent um, integrity measure, but, but you know, as reasonably happy as we can be in this sport. Okay, well, let's segue into the Canola Cup this Monday, October long weekend. It looks like it's going to be a fantastic meeting, really strong heats uh, that took place at Ugara on Sunday. And yeah, another uh, great meeting coming up. And it is, of course, the first tab.com.au Carnival Cups for this season. It is, is Amanda, and um, uh, some of the, some of the best scribes uh, uh, in New South Wales. Uh, I know a guy by the name of Bill Palmer who's seen uh, quite a few Canola Cups. Um, Lexus of Paramount, of course, the sponsor there. Billy Palmer said that this is the strongest field he's ever seen, um, uh, which is a, a true uh, indication that uh, Yugara 
can attract the horses. It's a small track, but it's a beautiful little track. We we did, certainly saw the pictures last week on, on Sky, so I encourage everybody to make it to Yugara. First of the tab.com.au Carnival Cups meetings and a great way to kick kick off the season as, as we know it. Yeah, looking forward to it. OK, let's talk about breeders' certificates. Uh, uh, people should have been advised that those certificates, the, the conditions have been ruled off there and um, those certificates can be used uh, in New South Wales, on New South Wales based mares to um, certainly in an expanded way. So if you're not sure and you have a mare and you want to breed, uh, talk to the stud master when you, uh, or the breeding nursery when you arrive with your, with your mare, but if, if not, contact Harness Racing New South Wales. Adam Fairley, and um, you'll certainly get the details of how you can use those um, those breeding certificates to uh, offset the costs of breeding a, a, your mare to the to a stallion this year. Okay, and let's talk about another first winner. We can't be across them all, but we try to. Uh, there was another first winner at Menangle yesterday uh, with Renata Fiorina. Yeah, Renata. Um, congratulations, Renata. Um, uh, fifty attempts, or near enough to fifty attempts, but you made it. Um, you. you Good old dad Charlie would very, very much be um, proud of this this achievement, and of course, Mum Barb and, and Uncle Dennis, um, all very happy and, and well done, Renata. Yes, the feat was achieved with Got a Monkey, the got Trotter. A, got a monkey, and that's that's even a greater feat, really, because um, we all know trotters are. It, you need to have a special talent to drive those, Amanda, and um, Renata did very, very well. Well, she certainly got the monkey off her back, that's for sure. <laughs> yes, well, she did, I hope. Yeah. All right, anything else? Uh, nothing, but there'll be plenty more next week. All right, look forward to it. Thanks, Amanda.